you know, something that I use, I'm just, I'm just can't believe that guys don't use them more, are rod socks. There's a lot of different names for them, but basically they're just like a rigging loom deal. But one little trick that I take is I like to get a model that's a lot shorter than what they say in the package, because I don't want this going all the way down. Because like my spinners or my crankbaits that I may leave on there or spoons or diving devices, I want to have some extra room here so that I don't have to have that, you know, getting caught up in the device. So. In some cases, I've taken my old ones and I've cut them off at the end and I've just wrapped a little electrical tape on there or heat shrink so that I can shorten that up. And the other thing that I do is you look in my rod locker is, you know, I've got different colors and those all mean something for me. So whether it's in the garage or in my rod locker, I can grab a rod really quickly and I know what that is for my system. Certain ones are braid rods or mono rods or leaders or no leaders. So come up with a little system and rod socks can not only be an organization thing, but they can keep all your rods from tangling up. I've even gone to using them on the rods that I keep on the deck that are kind of my daily rods. And that's gonna keep so I can have four rods right next to each other. I grab one, get one, and don't have a hot mess. <laughs>